If your soil feels lifeless, compacted, or unable to hold water, there's one ancient secret that can bring it back to life faster than any store-bought chemical ever could. It's not a product, it's a living brew. When properly fermented, cow dung transforms from simple manure into a powerhouse of microbes, minerals, and natural nutrients that can awaken even the most exhausted soil. This is the living fertilizer your garden has been waiting for. And today, on Soil and Crop Central, you'll learn exactly how to make it step-by-step -step right at home. Cow dung has been a farmer's ally for thousands of years, for a reason. It isn't just organic waste, it's living biology in raw form. Fresh cow dung teems with beneficial microorganisms, nitrogen-fixing bacteria, decomposers, and actinomycetes that break down organic matter into simple nutrients plants can immediately absorb. When these microbes are placed in water and fermented under controlled conditions, they multiply rapidly, creating what many call liquid gold for the soil. This liquid fertilizer doesn't just feed plants, it revives the entire soil ecosystem. It restores beneficial microbial life, increases humus formation, and helps the soil retain moisture. Unlike synthetic fertilizers that may give plants a temporary boost while slowly depleting soil structure, cow dung liquid fertilizer builds lasting fertility from the ground up. The secret to effective fermentation lies in the ratio. Start with 1 kilogram of fresh cow dung and mix it thoroughly with 10 liters of clean, non-chlorinated water. This proportion is crucial. It creates the ideal environment for microbes to thrive while preventing the mixture from going anaerobic, which would cause it to rot and lose nutrients. If you have access to cow urine, you can supercharge the mix by adding 1 liter of cow urine for every 10 liters of the mixture. The urine acts as a nitrogen booster and microbial activator, accelerating fermentation and nutrient release. This simple formula, used by traditional farmers for centuries, produces one of the most potent biofertilizers known to natural farming. Always use a plastic drum, large bucket, or clay pot with a loose-fitting lid. This allows gases to escape during fermentation without letting contaminants in. Avoid metal containers at all costs, as the ammonia released during decomposition can corrode metal and alter the mixture's chemistry. Begin by adding the cow dung into the container first, followed by the water and urine if available. Stir the mixture thoroughly using a wooden stick, never metal, to ensure complete blending. What you're creating here is a nutrient-rich suspension where microbes will begin their work of decomposition and nutrient conversion. Alright, so, step 3 is the fermentation process. You'll want to cover your container loosely and place it in a cool, shaded location. Be sure to avoid direct sunlight. High temperatures can actually kill the very microbes you're trying to cultivate. The ideal fermentation period ranges from 7 to 10 days in warm weather and up to 14 days if it's a bit cooler. Now, during this time, you should stir the mixture once daily. Stirring introduces oxygen, which is really vital for maintaining an aerobic environment. As fermentation progresses, you'll start to notice bubbling and gas release. These are good signs of healthy microbial activity. What's happening here is, the microbes are breaking down complex organic compounds into simple forms of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium that plants can easily absorb. You'll know your brew is ready when the bubbling slows down, the smell turns earthy instead of foul, and the solids begin to settle at the bottom. The brownish liquid on top, well, that's your concentrated cow dung fertilizer, the essence of living soil in liquid form. Moving on to step 4, straining and storage. Once fermentation is complete, go ahead and strain the mixture through a fine cloth or mesh. This removes those larger solids that could clog up your sprayers or irrigation systems. But don't throw those solids away. They're still packed with slow-release nutrients and can be mixed into compost piles or used directly as mulch around trees and shrubs. Store the filtered liquid in airtight containers and keep them in a shaded, cool spot. While it can last for up to a month, I've found the best results come from using it within two to three weeks. 
the fertilizer stays biologically active during this time, meaning those beneficial microbes are still alive and ready to colonize your soil. Just make sure the lids aren't sealed too tightly to avoid gas buildup, and never store in direct sunlight, since that can sterilize the mix. Now, step 5 is all about how to use the fertilizer. Cow dung liquid fertilizer is highly concentrated, so it must be diluted before use. For general soil feeding, mix 1 liter of the concentrated fertilizer with 10 liters of clean water. This dilution is just right for watering around the base of your plants, especially vegetables, cereals, and flowering crops. If you're planning to use it as a foliar spray, that means spraying directly on the leaves, make it even milder. 1 liter of fertilizer to 20 liters of water. This ensures nutrients, especially nitrogen and potassium, can be absorbed through the leaf surfaces without causing burns. The best time to spray is early in the morning or late in the evening, when temperatures are cooler and evaporation is minimal. For vegetable gardens, apply this living fertilizer once every two weeks during active growth. For fruiting plants, reduce frequency to once a month, since too much nitrogen can delay flowering and fruit development. Each application improves microbial life in the root zone, enhances nutrient uptake, and boosts the plant's natural resistance to pests and diseases. Step 6. Natural Enhancers for Maximum Potency To make your brew even more powerful, add a handful of jaggery, molasses, or unrefined sugar for every 10 liters of the mixture before fermentation. The sugar serves as food for beneficial microbes, helping them multiply faster and increasing the fertilizer's microbial richness. You can also include a small quantity of wood ash for additional potassium, or crushed neem leaves to give the mix mild pest-repelling properties. Some gardeners add a bit of compost tea or age leaf mold, which introduces diverse strains of beneficial bacteria and fungi, enhancing soil health even further. These natural additives don't just improve nutrient levels. They expand the biological diversity of the fertilizer, turning it into a living community of microorganisms that work in harmony with your soil. Step 7. The Long-Term Benefits Using cow dung liquid fertilizer regularly transforms the very structure of your soil. You'll notice darker, crumbly, more fertile earth that retains moisture better and resists erosion. The organic carbon from the brew helps bind soil particles, while microbes release natural growth hormones that stimulate root expansion. Over time, degraded soils begin to recover. The microbial community re-establishes itself, breaking down organic matter faster and making nutrients more available to plants. This is what makes cow dung fertilizer more than just a plant booster. It's a soil healer. It's no wonder many farmers call it the farmer's tonic. With every batch you make, you're not just feeding your crops. You're feeding the invisible life that sustains them. Step 8 from waste to wealth. Perhaps the most rewarding part of this process is that it costs almost nothing. You're recycling natural waste into something that improves productivity, saves money, and promotes sustainability. Every batch you brew helps you understand your soil better. Its appetite, its response, and its rhythm. Within weeks, you'll see greener leaves, stronger stems, faster growth, and better yields all from a mixture that started with simple cow dung and water. This isn't just fertilizer, it's living soil in a bottle. It's nature's way of showing that the best solutions are often the simplest. By making your own cow dung liquid fertilizer, you're taking a step toward truly sustainable gardening, where every drop nourishes both plant and planet. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe to Soil and Crop Central and share it with fellow gardeners. Let's keep reviving our soils, one living brew at a time.